Hello, today we're going to look at some first grade addition strategies with my dog Scoop. So before we get there, we're going to check out a comic called The Adventures of Math Boy and Math Girl vs. Mr. Grumpy Math Guy. So Grumpy Math Guy says, You kids need to use your number line when adding and subtracting. And Math Boy sees a problem with this. But what if I'm not in school? I don't have my number line with me. So Math Girl says, Use friendly numbers, my friend. Take from an addend, make ten. Oh, and Math Boy goes, especially with addends of seven, eight, and nine, because they're so close to ten, they'd be really easy to turn into ten. So in my make ten strategy, I'm trying to take one addend, in this case the seven of seventeen, and turn it into a ten. Well, I know from my fluency that seven plus three is ten. So I take nine, and I take a 3 away from that, and I know 17 plus 3 makes a 10, or in this case, 20. Now all I have left is 6 1s, so I can add my two 10s and my 6 1s to make 26. It gets me to a friendly number like 20. The same idea works with a number like 18. When I have 18, that's really close to 10, so I know 8 and 2 make 10, so 18 and 2 make two tens for 20. Now I have seven ones left, so I know when I add my tens and my ones, that's gonna give me 27. So let's try some, and Scoop says, Woof, I'm gonna take from my second add-in to make a 10 out of my first add-in, so I really rely on knowing my 10 facts. Well, in this question I'm looking, I've got an 8 here, so I know that I need to take 2 away from that. And so I know 2 and 8 make 10, so 18 and 2 would make 20. Now I've got to see how many are left. Well, if I take 2 away from 15, I can count backwards. 14, 13, so I have 13 left. I might even need to break the 13 down further into another 10 and the 3. If I don't, I can add my two 10s plus my one 10 and make three 10s, and my zero ones and my three ones to make three ones, or 33. I can use this strategy again when I have 16 plus 15. I know six and four make 10, so 16 and four make 20. And now I've got to figure out how much I have left of 15. So I could count backwards that 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. I have 11 left. And I need to add that 11 back in. And again, I might need to break that 11 down further into 10s and 1s. So I know 2 10s plus 1 10 is 3 10s. And 0 1s plus 1 1 is 1 1. So 16 plus 15 is 31. Now when I look at this bottom question here, I'm going to try and make a 10. I know with the 4, I need a 6 to make a 10. Well, wait a minute. But 25 only has 5 ones. So sometimes, make 10s is not a good strategy. If I don't have a 10 to make, then I shouldn't use this strategy. Bonus. If Scoop gets it right, she gets a treat. We're going to make tens to solve this problem. Now, when I look at my first add end, I see three is in the ones place. Three is pretty far away from ten. Oh, but when I look at my second add end, nine is really close to ten. So I'm just going to take one away from thirteen, and I know one less than thirteen is twelve, and that allows me to make a ten. Nineteen and one make two tens or 20, and then I've got to add 12 back to it. So I know two tens plus one ten is three tens. Zero ones plus two ones is two ones. So 13 plus 19 must be 32. Have a great day.